So we have the craziest information thus far, legit data mine stuff from 10.0.7. In my opinion, the biggest lore bomb for this entire expansion that could really rival the Chronicle. This is like those Ultima documents we discovered a few months back, but like triple down and we have some really crazy stuff. So a fifth old god is mentioned. It is said that the old gods in the elementals were not contained as we had previously believed. Apparently, there is a different name for Kalimdor, something lies beyond the waves related to the old gods that the titans hid from everyone separate from Kalimdor, possibly hinting at a new continent. Furthermore, there are other mentions of the original black empire and how the titans have been rewriting history. Keep in mind, there is a ton of info and I'm going to do my best to be as concise as possible, so let's immediately get into it as there is just so much stuff to unpack. So before we get into it, I want to show you guys a Magic Spoon Serial Reinvented. Other than playing WoW, for you guys that follow me on Instagram, you might know I spend a decent amount of time working out as well. Now, generally, I avoid cereal as it's really usually just a bunch of nothing, a bunch of empty calories, but I was genuinely blown away by Magic Spoon. It has 30 to 14 grams of protein, 4 to 5 net grams of carbs, 0 grams of sugar, and only 140 calories per serving, which is just insane. Not only does it taste like a really good cereal, but it can help you really hit your nutritional goals as well. They've sent me a ton of boxes, I've tried all of them, my favorite flavor is Frosted, but they've got a bunch of them with a variety pack coming in Cocoa, Fruity, Frosted, and Peanut Butter. So start your rewrite with Magic Spoon, use my link to grab a variety pack and my code Doron to get $5 of any order, they're also so confident that if you don't like it, you will get a refund, no questions asked. So make sure that you click the link or go to magicspoon.com slash Doron or just scan the QR code and get a great discount. So to get right into it, there is actual data mine information right now from 10.0.7, which as I had anticipated in the previous videos, has a lot of reveals in what is to come in the future. This is like those Ultima documents, but even more crazy as in it really restructures the lore from the ground up. Like seriously, this might be one of the biggest changes to the WoW lore pretty much since the Chronicle or <laughs> the Red Chronicle of the Chronicle and the Freem stuff we had discovered in the Shadowland. Of course, we don't have all the information at the moment, but I'm guessing we aren't going to get like whole expansion reveals about how Dragonflight is going to end in 10.0.7, but we are returning to Forbidden Reach and we are going to learn how the Dracter were really created and most likely we are going to learn about what Deathwing has really been working on. To catch you up to speed, you might know that we had already discovered the Azerite in Forbidden Reach, Razaget was imprisoned there personally by Natarian through a void portal and apparently Forbidden Reach is sort of a cursed place, Dragons are void, which is why it's called that. Seeing that we had discovered this document, it makes sense why. I think this is going to be the place where Neltarian ultimately saw through all the Titan BS and really started experimenting on the old god match. So the document itself that we can discover is called the old gods and the ordering of Azeroth. This is actually a book that dates all the way back to vanilla like it's already in the game this is old stuff. Some of it was retconned by the Chronicle but I'm guessing they're backtracking on that at the moment. Now I wouldn't be making a video if Blizzard just recycled a 20 year old book. Instead this is that document but with a lot of footnotes that were intended for Neltarian's library, which essentially counters all the original writing. It says exactly this, an ancient copy transcribed by an unknown hand for Neltarian's private collection. Notes even scribbled in the margins. And I gotta say, these notes are pretty insane. We don't really know who the writer is, but based on what is written, it seems like this was done by someone that is heavily affiliated to the old gods. Some are even speculating that it could be Zalatet. So right off the bat, let's get into the most interesting one. In order to keep this video concise, I'm not going to read everything verbatim, but it says this. The Pantheon shattered the old god citadels and chained the five old gods far beneath the surface. Without their power, the elementals were banished into their plane, and with the elementals' departure, the world settled into peaceful harmony. The Titans saw that the threat was contained, and the note says this. Fools, the powers of the elements was not so easily contained, nor could they bind the influence of the old gods. The peace the Titans offered came only through oppression. So, before we get into the note itself, let's just quickly take a look at this, and it says that there are five evils. You guys probably know Katun, Nazoth, Yasharaj, and Yogg-Saron. However, this might just be the first official confirmation that there is, in fact, a fifth old god. Now, before someone writes in the comments, this is actually taken verbatim from Manila. I'm aware of that. Back Back then we were told that five old gods exist and then there was retconned by the chronicle but i really don't think this is the case i mean first of all 
pretty much the entire chronicle was retconned after it retconned the old stuff and it's just unreliable information at this point so it's hardly something to consider about retconning old stuff second why would blizzard intentionally keep this part in the five evils if they really was retcon they would have updated it of course as this is just data mine stuff it could be possible that this will get removed when the patch is released but i do think it is a bit too much of a coincidence this really goes in line with the zelotet theory and that zelotet could have been the fifth old god that was consumed by the others i know people think that gahoon from bfa is the fifth old god and he kind of is but he was created after this by accident by the titans however this document says that five evils were chained when the old god citadels fell so this could potentially be a huge confirmation then we have another huge reveal how the elements were not contained and the old gods were not bound which means that the elementals exist outside the elemental realm and there's a huge foreshadowing for what is to come in the near future however in order to keep this video concise let's quickly cover the rest second page talks about how the titans when they arrived encountered hostile elementals that worshipped unfathomably evil beings known as the old gods that vowed to get rid of the invading titans the note says this evil according to whom it was these titans who aligned the glory of the black empire this of course goes directly in line with the fact that the titans hid the advancements of the black empire that we previously knew however i do feel like this is kind of dangerously towing the line on how the old gods are actually the good guys the third page directly goes with this it talks about how the pantheon waged war on the elementals and the old gods and mentions the four elemental lieutenants all of you guys know the note says they looked upon the most impressive empire in existence and hated that they hadn't made it themselves in a fit of jealousy they tore it asunder we also have the fourth page which further continues this it talks about how the chaotic forces faced off the colossal titans but despite their immense evil they could not contend with the titan savers the note says the titans sure do love to make themselves seem grandiose history is as always written by the victor now, personally as someone that is into actual history i feel like this line is super cringe however i do get where they're going with this i feel like they're just tripling down on the titans are liars and the old gods were not as bad as we believed however it remains to be seen how far they're going to take this supposed benevolence of the black empire as despite the obvious titan lies the fact that they are now quite obviously not the good guys i can't really stand behind the fact that the black empire was a nice place to live in in any way shape or form Next on the line, we have four more pages, and some are even more interesting than the first one, especially this one. So, the first one talks about how the Titans empowered the racers to fashion the world, how they created the Earth and the Giants, and how they moved and shaped the Earth until a perfect continent remains. The note says this, The author of this tome is either a liar or a fool. Were they truly ignorant of that which lies beyond the waves? Or were they merely commanded to spread Titan propaganda? The fact that uh, the writer doesn't fall for Titan BS aside, I'm kind of confused on this one. Ignorant of that? which lies beyond the ways like what does that mean exactly i feel like it is really open to interpretation could it be referencing an azot that was and is kind of beyond the waves personally i doubt it as we had known that his prison was be beneath the waves could they be talking about a new continent beyond the waves that might be the remnants of the black empire in my opinion i think this is sort of a contrast the document references one perfect continent the titans made calendar however there is apparently something beyond the waves this might mean that there is some sort of a continent beyond it that the titans could not reshape and then they had to hide it this could potentially be a huge hint for future expansions next on the line we have this the document talks about the well of eternity and how it was the fount of life and how it was the source of power for all the native beings the note says the titans wounded the world with their recklessness then insisted it was done by design preposterous it was the old gods who nurtured the flesh of this world not the titans this in itself is of course nothing new we had known for years that the well of eternity was a wound when Yashiraj was pulled out however in my opinion this further confirms the theory that Azeroth is actually elemental in nature and that the various cosmological forces are trying to get it to their side so before the titans old gods try to pump it up with the void and align it to the black empire i'm also getting some hints that this guy that is writing these notes for Natarian is obviously old god aligned so he's definitely biased from that perspective as well now furthermore we have this as twilight fell on the final days of their labors the titans named the continent kalendor the land of eternal starlight the note says ah yes the titans final erasure of the wonders that once existed they even stole away the land's true name and replaced it with one of their own this 
in itself is just a continuation of everything, but it strongly hints we might learn this true name, and that Kalimdor is a titan in Force word, and that Azeroth's landmass had an entirely different name. Now, last thing, we have that the titans found Azeroth and moved from planet to planet, but they were unaware that Sergeras was undoing their work. The note says, pathetic, what sort of saviors of the universe failed to notice that their efforts were being undermined by one of their own? Personally, this is of course nothing new, but it kind of confirms that the titans are really not the ever-knowing gods they present themselves to be because they couldn't figure this out. Now, of course, these pages are not exactly in the correct order, and of course, all of this stuff is data mined info from 10.0.7, which, keep in mind, is not yet released, so some of it is subject to change. However, I think this might just be the biggest lore bomb we could ever receive in Dragonflight. I think... We should wait a bit for new hints so that we can confirm what is real, what isn't, but it is now very likely that there is, in fact, a fifth old god. There might be a hidden old god land, and I think in the very near future we're going to learn what Azeroth really was like in the ancient past. Was the Black Empire really that evil? What was the original name of Kalimdor, and what were these ancient wonders that the Titans had apparently destroyed and hidden that existed on Azeroth? Furthermore, in my opinion, the most interesting hint is that the old gods and the elementals were never truly contained which in my opinion, is a huge foreshadowing for what is to happen as soon as 10.1. We have these four Jaradin elders, elementals in nature, we have Riddikron, the Primalist, and I think we are now at the beginning of all the old god and elemental lore changing completely from the ground up, which means that some exciting times are going to be ahead. Thank you for watching, check out code Denetrius and the Dreadlords have an agent in the green dragon file by clicking on the screen and check out the Academy for videos of real world history. See you next time!